Hey y'all, this is Mr. Rodriguez. I will be working problem number one with y'all. During an experiment, three different masses have their electric fields moving at the center of them. According to the table below, so we can see objects X, Y, and Z here, all have their electric fields spread out over 45 kilograms respectively. Reiterate, we have to select the attribute of which has been applied to all of them. So you can probably kind of start thinking about, well, we have different masses, same acceleration, I mean different accelerations because of those forces. So we're going to need to make a few connections. The problem reads, which class of this diagram has been modeled to improve the unit acceleration experienced by all three objects? So the connection we need to recall here is that on the velocity time graph, slope is the acceleration, right? That's the big thing here. If we can figure out what the slope is, that models the acceleration. So since we need to compare them, we need to understand the connection that occurs between all of them, right? So here, higher acceleration means steeper slopes. So if we can find the acceleration, we'll look for steeper slopes. And um, yeah, sorry about the writing there. In any case, so we're going to deal with Newton's second law here, F equals MA. Remember, we can put it into a triangle as well. So that'll be F, M, and A. I'll go in there. To solve for acceleration, we'll see that A is equal to F divided by M. All right, so we've got object X, Y, and Z. So for all of those, we will use that relationship of A equals FM. Uh, a equals f over m to solve for the acceleration. So here for x, we'll have a force of 42 newtons divided by 16 kilograms. For y, we'll have 42 newtons divided by 12 kilograms. And then for z, we'll have 42 newtons divided by 24 kilograms. So, you know, here you can pull out your calculator, follow along with me, but putting 42 divided by 16 into your calculator will give you approximately 2.63 rounded, and remember that's meters per second squared. For Y, we'll have 3.5 meters per second squared, and then for Z, we'll have 1.75 meters per second squared. So those are our three, and remember we're, we're modeling and comparing them here. So we identify y as the, I'll, I'll put it as one, it's the greatest. The next one is x, which is two here. And then z will be our third rank. It'll be the lowest of them all. So if we look at a, x is the steepest one, no doubt, no doubt. We have z is the steepest one, no doubt. C, uh, y is the steepest, and for d, y is the steepest. So, you know, it's meeting that y should be the greatest acceleration. Taking the next one for C, X is good, but not here, and then Z is in the fourth place. That means C is our answer. Um, and, you know, there we go.